Thank you. The city of Cincinnati wants to know how it's doing. A recent survey of residents shows that the people of the city are mostly happy with the services. But as Brad Underwood shows us, there are a few key areas where the citizens collectively would like to see improvements in the future. Slower and safer roads. That's the message from more than 1,300 Cincinnatians recently surveyed across the city's 52 neighborhoods. I think data is extremely important because that helps um, direct our decision making. The ETC Institute survey set out to find what's important to people and how the city can better meet their needs. Council members Liz Keating and Mark Jeffrey say the results aren't surprising. I think a lot of this is very consistent with what we hear from residents throughout the city. For Jeffries, street safety is top of mind. In recent years, the city has been ramping up efforts to slow cars down and protect pedestrians. What we're now doing is road diets, making them a lot smaller, uh, narrowing the lanes. Uh, we do know that that works as one mechanism to slow traffic down which uh, this survey reinforces that's exactly what our residents want. Happening next week, a two mile stretch of Glenway from Beach to Shirley will reduce to one lane in each direction with the universal left turn lane as the city evaluates options to calm traffic and improve safety. Police services also scored high. The survey shows people want the police to be more visible. We want police uh, on foot patrol where they get to know the neighbors. Uh, they hear things from the neighbors. Um, and also we want them where they're enforcing traffic uh, laws. So the chief um, has recognized this and she's indicated she's working on it. Third on the list, neighborhood services. 70% of complaints that come to the city have to do with litter or illegal dumping. Keating says the city is working to improve action regarding complaints filed through the 311 Cincy, an app used to report problems spanning from trash to potholes. I think it's a, a communication as a city um, to set the expectations of how long certain things take to be able to be resolved. And then um, from that, I think we'll get better satisfaction in terms of people understanding what it would take. At City Hall, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Now, city leaders will discuss the survey on April 18th at the next Healthy Neighborhoods Committee meeting. If you would like to see it, we have it posted at local12.com.